creamy, light, bright banana and ice cream. I saw how it melted in my in my um, in my tongue, my taste buds and enlightened, and my pupils enlarged. <laughs> so, banana and ice cream is like no other ice cream. It is fat free. It has no chemicals. It has no animal products. Cruelty free, no salt. You can eat as much as you want of it and totally guilty free. According to Christina Carrillo of Karama, the founder of the largest raw organic produce cooperative in the US, in her website, Fully Raw Christina, she published on 2014 that a banana and ice cream is free from unnatural sugars, processed ingredients, animal products, chemicals, and it's sweet for your body, mind, and soul. Banana and ice cream only requires one ingredient, and this ingredient is the bananas, the super ripe freckled bananas that you have on your counter that you ignore forever and you never like want to eat at all. So as a raw vegan, as a fruitarian, as a fruitarian is, I only eat fruits and I love experimenting with fruits and like trying out new, new recipes. So I like getting very creative and this is my way of trying ice cream because I really, really miss eating vegan ice cream. By learning the process of preparing my absolutely favorite banana and ice cream, you will be able to share with your friends and family and your loved ones. First, I will compare and contrast grocery store ice cream to banana and ice cream, and second, I will share with you the preparation process. So, what exactly is banana and ice cream? In the old farmer's Alimatic, a company that, uh, expert, that is an expert at dairy, published um, on 2014 that ice cream has no specific date of origin nor inventor. Grocery stores didn't start selling it until the 1930s. Unlike banana and ice cream, it has no inventor. So we don't, I don't even know who invented banana and ice cream. There's like so many people making it on YouTube, on Facebook, everywhere, social media, Instagram, you see a bunch of pictures of banana and ice cream. And it's, again, very delicious. <laughs> Just like regular ice cream, and it's so addicting. So I will compare um, and contrast banana and ice cream. So again, homemade, natural, you know what you're eating, exactly. With grocery store ice cream, you don't know what the heck you're eating at all. And, um, and I mean, it's not harming anyone. However, ice cream and banana and ice cream are very different. On 2014, a Tronian team, a group of scientists that specialize in the health state, on their website, they posted that a typical scoop of ice cream has around 250 through 350 calories, and over half of our daily allowance of saturated fat. In contrast, banana and ice cream doesn't have a lot of calories, and it's not processed, and you can eat, again, as much as you want of it, guilty-free, and you can have, like, you can have it for breakfast, you can have it for snacking, you can have it for dinner, you can have it for lunch, like pretty much all the time. So banana and ice cream, there is infinite amounts of ways to make it. And this is one of my, my creations, banana and ice cream split. And it's all fruits and you can also see how creative people get. This is another one of mine that I recently made. And I have some today, actually, for breakfast. Um, <laughs> yeah, I eat it all the time. 
It's just so good. And oh my gosh. <laughs> so addicting. Okay, so now that I talked about and now that I compared a contrasted banana and ice cream to grocery store ice cream, uh, I will, and also, oh, now, now I will explain the process of preparing it. So for banana and ice cream, all you, the materials you'll need is either a container, a zip bag, or a plate if you'd like. And what you do is you grab the really disgusting bananas that you don't like, that you won't eat, like, <laughs> plainly, so it's pretty much like these, this is perfection. <laughs> and you freeze them for about two hours, and then you grab your blender or your food processor, and you blend them up, and then you pour a little bit of water if you'd like, and you add dates for extra sweetener, and that's how it's supposed to look all creamy and nice. And then as a topping, you could add blueberries, strawberries, anything you like. You grab a big bowl, you pour it all in, you take a huge bite, and you have yourself a delicious meal. By now, I hope you know the process of preparing banana and ice cream and are able to share it with your friends and family. First, I talked about uh, how banana and ice cream how banana and ice cream, it can compare and you can con contrast it to regular ice cream. And secondly, I talked about uh, the process of making it. So by now, I hope you have a better understanding of how to make it and I'm done. <laughs>